I know this one Asian girl, she eat my ass. <laughs> she just lick it, let it be. Let just, it sit, be. just sit in an interview, like, I know this, this one she eat the crack rocks right out of my ass. <laughs> like, sir, I, why, why does that qualify you to sell home insurance? <laughs> what it is, what it do, man. <laughs> Dude, and Jimmy T don't answer to no one. We <laughs> well, Jimmy T, if you want to work at State Farm, you're going to need to give me a more compelling reason than that. It's easy like Geico. <laughs> nah, it's State Farm. No, it's State Farm, dude. Yeah, I, like, I like that lizard, though. I, that, 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 guy, that lizard cute as hell, man. I want to put... That lizard, man. You, you know he's not a real lizard, right? He's not a real lizard. Uh, what what it is, you f*** it up. <laughs> you f*** it up. <laughs> you f*** it up right now, Stacy. I'm just imagining D Duke Nukem's voice, but then I'll, but instead of saying, like, uh, offensive, misogynistic stuff, he just says, like, super woke stuff. I mean, it was something, like, crazy woke. Uh, America was founded on institutional racism. Like, uh, 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 okay, okay. alright. Duke, that's neat. Gentrification, baby. Yep. Yeah, I know. Black people were disproportionately affected by COVID. Alright, alright, Duke, thanks. <laughs> Fucking woke, right. Duke. Thanks, Duke. Thanks, Duke. You've already told me. I've heard. All there's right. a new there's a new strain of COVID called the Delta strain. This thing's far from over. Alright, thank thank you, Duke. Thank you, Duke. Thanks, Woke Duke. Thanks. <laughs> Man, Woke Duke sucks at parties. Your heteronormative behavior is low-key problematic. Okay, thank you, Woke Duke. We didn't land on Plymouth Rock. Plymouth Rock landed on us. What? What? Dude, you're white, dude. Duke, you're a white guy. No, I'm not. I'm transracial. <laughs> I'm actually a Korean woman. <laughs> I'm a Korean woman now. Okay, Woke Duke, thank you. I exclude, dude, if I bought the shirt, I'd be like, I had a girl on a date, I'd be like, listen. Uh, if, 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 this, if, this, if this gets to f***ing, I gotta change into this shirt. I gotta change into my f***ing shirt. This isn't this isn't the date shirt, but this is the f***ing shirt. I wear a different shirt to the date, and if it seems like things are heating up, I'm like, can you excuse me for one second? Dip off, dip off in the bathroom, throw on my, if you can't run to the big dog, say on the porch shirt. And it's like it's like too long, so it's like covering up my penis. So oh, I have to, just I have to, I have to pull it up. <laughs> I, have to, I have to hold up my shirt on in the chair. <laughs> 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 yeah. oh, so just for this. <laughs> it's like three sizes too big. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like it's my it's, it's like it's my boyfriend shirt or something like that. <laughs> Holy shit. The, Dude, look at the side. This thing comes in a 6X. <laughs> it's you literally you oh my god. Okay, so so we think this is the ghost hunting this this is the ghost room? Assuming that the sh assuming that what she said was true. Yes, this is probably the room. Dude, Think right. not. can I be honest with you? Can I be honest with you, dude? Just you and me. What, what, what? I, I, don't me. I don't trust that little Asian girl just between the two. Oh teams. my gosh. <laughs> Listen, it's not a racial thing. You're my best friend. <laughs> You're, sh <laughs> shut up. Oh I'm my god. Asian. What? Hey, what's up? I'm, not, I'm only half Asian. I'm, I'm more white than Asian. Oh, I didn't. I'm Asian. No, I didn't. All, All right, Britt, can I, I can, can I be totally Britt, can I can I be totally honest with you? Yeah. When you when you left the room, that black guy was saying all kinds of horrible things about. You. Okay. <laughs> like what? <laughs> I can't. Don't worry. I'm I'm 19. I'm not a child, so oh, it's okay. okay. That's good to know. I all mean, right. like I sound like a child, but I'm not one. I talk like a child, and. I'm dating one. <laughs> oh. I feel like we're on like an alien planet now. No, we're still on Earth. That sub just take us to Venus or oh, no. <laughs> Uranus. Uranus. I knew it was there. We just took this sub straight to Uranus and that subway's new ad campaign. Uh Jeff Fogel has uh been released from prison to to co to co sponsor the new subway uh Oh that's right. Marketing that campaign. Is his name. 
take a nuclear sub straight to straight in your anus. Hey, hey kids, I'm Jared Fogel. You might know me from the Subway commercials. Now I'm taking yeah. subs and I'm putting them directly in <laughs> your anus. You, <laughs> you, you might know me from those times I tried molesting children. Well, now I'm a scientist and I'm doing You're science experiments. Scientist. I want to see if it's possible for me to take a sub. Take my sub, sub and put it in your anus. <laughs> what is a, what's the diameter of that? <laughs> We're going to measure a sub and then I'm going to insert it into your anus. Right into your anus. And uh, that's called a science experiment. I can women can have toys and it's fine, but women are creepy and weird. Yeah, listen, this is a, this is a men's rights, uh, this is an MRA podcast. We're, uh, we're here to advocate for men's rights. And uh, the reality is, listen, guys can use dildos too. And I should be referred to as brave for my use of a masculine dildo. Oh, no, I was actually saying I, I do think that it's that it's weird when guys do it. Okay, so. well, well, I guess we're, on, we're at odds on that. And, you know, you, you can say it's weird that I use a dildo, but if you knew that the dildo was made by craftsmen, would you would you look at me so weird then? What's another tool company? No, actually, Milwaukee. Man, yeah, I got my Milwaukee. old I got my old Milwaukee uh, uh, dildo does, here. <laughs> does it does it connect to a drill? Drill yeah. dough. Yeah, it's a drill dough. Guys, we're here. Uh, we're here selling uh, men's sex accessories. <laughs> What's another ma- uh, manly brand? Um, Carhartt. Carhartt. Yeah, there we go. I got my Carhartt. Carhartt. I got my Carhartt Sibian machine here. Ready to get strapped into it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lordy Lufus. <laughs> Merck, can you uh, simulate a conversation with Britt where you two are a couple and you're experiencing erectile dysfunction? <laughs> I think that could potentially trigger some paranormal activity. Please, if, if the two of you could actually get on the bed. Hold on. So in terms of your motivation, Britt, you're a uh, you know, everyday kind of housewife sort of girl uh, waiting to be uh, uh, flat out by your, your husband. Uh, Merck, you're experiencing really for the first time in your life erectile dysfunction in, in a way that uh, you didn't think was going to hit at, at your age. Um, and now you have to explain gotcha. to her that it's, it's, that it's not her fault, it's yours. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, I can't get it up. Uh... It's okay. They're there. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. The best part is because it's all a bunch of high flute and made up bullshit. That means your ex wife can't claim it as an asset in your divorce. You hear that, Trish? Good luck bleeding this stone when I'm totally invested in plastic f-ing pirate coins. I'm gonna walk in that courtroom like Jack f-ing Sparrow. What are you gonna do? Take the kids? Why is one of them black, anyways? Is it a tree surgeon? Sure was. What the f does that mean? It's a person that cuts into a tree. I don't know. I couldn't think of it. So, and so you cut into the tree and you you build it's a boy. What did you find inside the tree that would tell you that it's a boy? Surgeons. <laughs> they had a C-section. If, if the rings go clockwise, it's a boy. If the rings go counterclockwise, it's a girl. Is there anything anything about the temperature or something? I hold the I hold the equipment. I can test. Britt, maybe you should show him how to uh, hold the thermometer properly. He's holding it properly. You sure? You sure you don't want to get some hands on that and just show him how to really grip that thing? <laughs> Fair enough, Brett. That's a good assumption. It's very uh, H.R. Geiger style room. Aliens, yeah. Authorized personnel only. I wonder where I have to go. Sexual alien. His whole thing was like, man, what if we? What if I had made aliens, but like, they were also penises. <laughs> <laughs> they are just flaccid aliens. And people are like, wow, you're an artistic genius. And he's like, no, I'm actually just an artistic pervert. But yeah, if you want to pay me like a million dollars to draw penis aliens, I'm going to do it for you. Yo, this is definitely H.R. Geiger. You are This super is totally H.R. Right. Geiger right now. This is, this is horny aliens. This is sexualized aliens. Man, what if we did aliens, but we did them um, all sexual? All <laughs> sexual. Do you think all our fans would like to see him just... Being what bought what it, by some aliens? What to do? What it is? I'm HR guy. I'm here to. I'm here to give you some aliens, but this time right. we're doing these aliens. We doing them raw. All sexual. <laughs> we doing them raw. We do. We doing them raw this time. <laughs>